Well, 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 hello everybody, and welcome back to Gary's Mod. It's been a while. I know I've been doing a lot of God of War and whatnot. That actually does damage, okay. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be back. I've just been playing God of War, because I've really been enjoying that, and I hope you guys have been too, but... We are back to Gary's Mod now. Um... Yes, we'll keep playing God of War, but we're also going to do some Gary's mod, because I know you guys like your Gary's mod, so. We're going to be looking at some Minecraft maps today. So, maybe you already recognize this one. But this is the Trouble in Terrace Town map. This might bring back a lot of memories. I know for sure it does with me. When I first started playing Gary's mod, Trouble in Terrace Town was the one I wanted to do really bad. Because I watched YouTubers like Uber Hex or Nova, um, Immortal HD, and all of them play Trouble in Terrace Town, C Nanners. And uh, I was like, yo, I wish I had this game. I wish it came to Xbox. Because <laughs> I, all I had was an Xbox 360, and naive me was like, maybe it'll come out on Xbox. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> yeah, Gary's Mod being on the Xbox 360, wouldn't that just be great? But, um, I'm sure some people have, like, somehow put it on their 360. I saw videos of it. I was so desperate, but I didn't own a computer, so I couldn't really do much, obviously. But, uh, yeah, here we are. This water's a little bit glitched, but, um, it's kind of nostalgic. So I don't know what that leg was about. Um, it's kind of nostalgic in a way because it looks like old school Minecraft, you know? It really m reminds you of the... The good old days. But uh, let's have a little look around. In my mind, if I jump on this, it's just going to turn back to normal dirt. Every time I walk across that. Trader room. Only accessible for traders. Okay, well, not if we move doors. Okay. Not if we remove... Okay, that doesn't get removed. We're going to go in either way. Button teleports next person to fake nether portal. I, I never knew about this as a terrorist in this game because you had um terrorists no they weren't terrorists were they what were they called them no they weren't called imposters they're they're called terrorists traitors i'm I'm thinking about c s go now uh I think people did play c s go on this map though but um it's a lot like c s go in a way but the traders, um, if you guys don't know Trouble in Terrace Town, uh, there it, it was like old school Among Us, but you killed people and you had guns, and it was honestly a lot more interesting. That's where they got all their inspiration from, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, the ladders work and whatnot. Lever activates TNT minecart that explodes if players go close. But, can they see us through... No, they can't. Okay, that's probably a good thing, but, uh... I remember there's like, a little secret, like, thing of, like... Yeah, you can break one of these. It took a while. And I think you could, like, bring the diamonds somewhere and do something with them, but... We'll look at that later. But this is an old school map, but it's really cool. Why is there diamonds on surface level? That ain't right. But, uh, we'll toss this up here. We'll probably lose it forever. Okay, that's nice. We, uh, we spawned somewhere else now. Oh, I remember this. This is the lighthouse. Everybody would make their lighthouses out of red and white wool back in the day. I literally... Okay, so I literally just tried open, opening it. I've been playing Minecraft on my own. Name of Notch, offer the diamond block. Okay, well, maybe let's go do that, actually. Before I forget where that diamond was. You have zero place, you need nine more. Nine more what, though? Diamonds? 
I want to put the diamond into the, uh, the furnace real quick, though, because I've never done this. I, I remember people would snipe from this tower. This is the best place for hackers to go. I never hacked. I was never smart enough to figure out hacks, but if I did hack, I'd probably just to troll people for fun. But it always, like, it wouldn't be like wall hacks or aiming hacks. It'd just be like crater. But it'd only be with friends. I'm, I'm saying don't do this. Oh, diamond block. This is diamond ore. Um, Maybe we gotta smelt it first. It's not working. Maybe it's because uh, we're in sandbox mode. It, it said a thing when we first started. Man, I'm just like... I've been playing way too much Minecraft on my own. But, uh... Yeah, if you remember this map, you remember. Also, look at that little lonely island over there. Are you even allowed to... Yeah, there's like an invisible wall, so now we can go look at this. It's fully textured. So that's cool. Can't un-no clip around it, though. But yeah, this is like a really old school map. People were so toxic back in the day. And you'd play this stuff. Holy cow. Search for the small golden block to you use the trader tester. Oh yeah, you I remember people going into this and like something happening to them. But I'm not a trader, so if you were a trader, I imagine it drops you in there. But this is where shit would go down every single time. Because they'd be like, I'm not a trader, and then they'd pull out a gun and start killing people. There's explosions going on in this place. Everybody was packed in to see if they're a traitor. It just was never a um, good thing. Also, the traders were able to see uh, certain uh, things that the innocent weren't able to see in this. Like, different triggers and whatnot, so... That's kind of cool. I'm sure people still play this map. I played Trouble in Terrace Town recently. Still as toxic as I remember, but still fun. Only accessible to traders. Okay. But there is a whole nether section. Lose one credit. Yeah, here it is. Man, remember when the nether and the lava textures and all that used to look like this? Remember when you'd actually light on fire? Just completely- okay, no. But, uh, man, this brings back memories. How come there's another portal up here? Where does this go? Is this, like... Oh, this shoots you out somewhere. So, that's interesting. Yippee. Pigman's Lair of Doom. Pigman, we've all almost run out of brick blocks. That... Is that it? That's what that room is? I don't remember that room. But, uh... That's cool that the nether is underneath the map. I never really thought about that. I also find it interesting that they decided to put it underneath the map and not, like, somewhere else. I don't know if that was, like, attention to detail or what, but... You know what? I think I remember being shot out of the portal at one point and then pushed into the lava. But I'm very curious on where it goes originally. Maybe we can find out. I know there's like one here, but let's, let's try to find that other portal. There's there's a few in the um terrorist rooms, weren't there? The trader rooms. I don't know, but I just took a little bit of damage. There's a gold block here. I was supposed to bring this somewhere, wasn't I? I don't know, but uh, let's have a look at the lighthouse again before we switch to the new map. You guys can check these maps out for yourself. I recommend it and leaving a good rating on them. Um, I don't know if this is the original map or not, but for my memory it is. 
I'm sure somebody will correct me if it isn't. That's cool that you take damage from the torch. Fire damage in this map is just, there's fire damage everywhere. You get damaged by fire, you get damaged by motions. What's up here, though? Oh. Oh. Search for the small golden block. He just had that. Is that still up in the front here? Where did I put the small golden block? Did I just toss it off to the side like I always do? Is that it right there? I think so. Hey. Give this. Give this. Okay, it's not working because I'm not in the in the right game mode, but that's that's fine. That was just an instant kill. But uh yeah, I got to say this this one specifically is really interesting, but let's check out the next one. Love this. Well, 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 hello. The next map. Um this one is take a good guess on what this map is. For people who have played Gary's Mod for like 10 years, do you even know what this map is? I'm just kidding. It's a Minecraft Construct, which I've never played the Minecraft version of it, but I remember having a mod that turned everything into Minecraft. I think that was in the fun, but I don't even remember. It's been so long. But, uh, this is very interesting to see Construct actually playing minecraft music it's very interesting to see a uh, construct like this also um i do remember playing this map because i was gonna make a video about this or like not earlier but a few months ago and uh i'm not i'm not gonna go around there because i think the music in there is copyrighted i'll go into the dark room though but if you all want to play this map for yourself you can check it out it's just specifically in the hidden room. Uh, you guys can look in there yourself. But uh, this music is copyrighted. Interesting enough. You know, there's still people that don't know about the um, this room here. And I find it so interesting. It's kind of creepier in the Minecraft version in here. Just the like lights, the lighting. Obviously, this map is a bit newer because they have sea lanterns in here. And, uh, it's interesting because a lot of the textures look old school, but that's just because of, uh, Minecraft lighting. This looks like clay, but I think it's supposed to be, I don't know, concrete? I don't know too much about, uh, Minecraft nowadays as much. This looks like concrete, though. I, I like Minecraft, I do play it a lot, but I don't know much about, like, the new stuff that they added. I'm still figuring that out. But, uh, yeah, this is really creepy in this, but I like it. I like when maps are different for, like, things like construct and stuff. I like that you actually have to crouch jump up these blocks. This is a lot bigger. Like, if you ever want to, like, create something, you always have an option to play it in different kinds of maps. Like, if, like in Sandbox, and that's... Always fun. These look like blocks of coal. I really don't know much about Minecraft. I know this is like stone bricks. Not stone bricks, uh, smooth stone. One! But, uh, let's have a little look through here. Three, four, five, six. There's no six. Super Flatland. Ah, uh, you really thought I was just gonna. Frickin'. Died to death, didn't you? But uh, we're gonna be very careful around this specific area because you can still hear the music. And uh, I know I'm talking a lot now, but let's not go in the dark room. I always like to leave the dark room for last, even when it's uh, a cheerful map like this. Maybe Hero Brian is gonna be in there. Hero Brony. Hero Brony. This is kind of creepy like this. This feels so empty. There's a lot of people that don't know much about construct map, the construct map now because they don't 
play sandbox anymore. They play all kinds of other stuff, you know? If they play sandbox, it's just construct is like a very simple map for them. So Yeah, I like that there's sand underwater. Out of curiosity, is it? Uh I thought maybe Well since there's a skybox What is that? What is this? Weird. But, uh, I just want to look at this. This freaking sun is bright. The sun follows you wherever you look. Here's your warning. Oh my gosh. I am walking right now, but we're in the skybox. This is the... The Minecraft Construct skybox right here. And I just wanted to look at this before I... Went to the dark room. In my mind, why did I stop no clipping? Uh, I feel like if I go up into the sky, I'm just gonna see the moon because if you are in creative mode and you fly high enough, uh, you could you basically go to space where you can see the sun and moon. The ground below you just kind of disappears. But uh, let's have a look in the dark room now. It's not really scary with uh. P418 playing in the background. Old school Minecraft. Although this feels a lot bigger than I remember. I don't know if it's because it's Minecraft or what. But, um... We're not gonna specifically go around that area, because that's where the super secret hidden music room is at. So if you want to look at, listen to that, or turn the music off, or whatever, it's all in that room. If you want to check out this map for yourself. Go for it. But, um... How come this has always been, like, an iconic part of Construct, this little, like, hill here? Is it just so you can ramp over it into the water? Or... Because it's... I've always remembered it being close to the water. There's always that one grassy hill. When we did that, uh... Construct history map. Where it showed the history of Construct. Um, that was one of them. Like, I, I recognize this right away in each of the map. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. That just became a part of it. But, uh... I do gotta say, I love it. I love that it's basically flat grass outside of the map. Good map. Alright, we're in the next map. Can you guess what this one is? By looking at what... Just this. Because I wouldn't be able to, but... Maybe you recognize it now. Yep, this is a mine Minecraft downtown map thing. RP Minecraft downtown. That is freaking bright, bro. My eyeballs. So um, first of all, it feels different. It looks different, but at the same time, I this could be any version of that downtown map. But this part has always been the same. Same with uh, well, this is usually. Like that. I don't think they have an elevator in here. But I don't know which version of this map it is. I mean, it's just Minecraft downtown. It's its own thing, but... Very interesting. Do the, mat do the uh, doors open? They do, that's cool. And it's not just pressure plates that open them. Uh, I just have to press on the buttons here. So... I'm wondering if they made this in Minecraft first, just to see if it would look okay, before they put it into this, because that would be interesting. But, uh, yeah, this is very interesting to see this map like this. I really do enjoy, uh, playing roleplay, but for some reason, Steam is, like, not letting me use my microphone in-game. Is anybody else having that problem? I know this is probably not the best time to ask for advice but i've looked it up i think i've tried figuring it out for so long watch let me let me show you what it does okay so we have this um i've been into steam voice settings and whatnot but this is it just it just stops it doesn't even let me talk in game even in my own world so yeah sorry that's just irrelevant to everything but this is such a cool map and i really miss playing roleplay 
So this make it, it it gives me a weird nostalgia, even though like, oh, I can't go up this area. It's just too small, I guess. No, I can. It's just a really tight squeeze. I remember people chilling out up here. All the hobos would sit up here, have their little hobo huts, and stare down at everyone like they own the world, even though they're hobos. Here, Pearl. Tell me where the end is. You know, people probably playing in the roleplay maps of this have probably ended up getting that Ender Pearl, and like people just mess with it. But uh, I've always found this map a little creepy, where people sell guns all the time. I didn't really play the um, old school maps as much. I played uh, like a lot of the newer ones. And I made a few videos about it on the channel. This is a good place to sell guns too. I think that building has always been kind of the same in a sense. But this building over here, I don't remember there being anything over here. I'm trying to remember because it's been a been like a year and I didn't play th this specific map very much. But um, that door is already open. I remember people would say that this map was haunted because the map creator passed away, which is kind of insensitive really. I don't know if he actually did pass away, but if he did, rest in peace. Um. I think it's fine to say it's haunted, but haunted by the creator just seems really insensitive, you know? I mean, maybe he would have liked it. I don't know the creator, but if I were to die and I had my own map, I'd probably put my, like, some creepy stuff in. You know what I mean? Like, if I died of some kind of sickness. And that's what I thought maybe, like, he did, like, because I did play in maps and the admins would, like, troll people and they'd put these shadow figures up and I thought that it was a part of the map. And I thought the, um, maybe the map creator knew he was going to pass away, so he put in this creepy stuff to mess with people. And I was like, that's really genius, but now I realize, because I, you know, looked at the original map, and I've seen videos about how it was fake. But, uh, yeah, I just think that's kind of insensitive. I'm sorry, this is random, but I freaking love this map, it's so iconic to me, and... I won't say iconic, but it's so, like, I love it. And I'm just going in a circle. Do you guys ever play Minecraft and you just start walking in circles? Like, you load up Minecraft, you're like, man, I'm going to build something today. I'm going to go mining. But you don't. You just kind of walk around your world not doing anything at all. You just look at things that you've made. Like, you're done with Minecraft. Like, what do I, what do I even do now? <laughs> That's how I feel right now, and I'm trying to focus because it's not with me right now. Also, I love that they have these kind of doors for here. A lot of those windows would originally break, I think, but not here. Y'all could play this map for yourself. I know I'm not going to look at every little thing. I'm definitely going to go underground, but uh, I'm just going to kind of wander the streets. I'm not going to go into every building. I'm just gonna walk across the streets, look at buildings that I want to look in. This. Oh, that actually opens. That's cool. Missed opportunity to put a piston sound, but that's probably not as easy as it is by you know, just saying it. Also, I've never been in this room. Like, in the newer maps, there's always some cult going on in these. Some weird cultish shit happening in here. People sacrificing babies. The good old stuff. Had, uh, I've been here. I had a Pokemon battle in here, but I was the, uh, I was the Pokemon and I had a lead pipe. And I was fighting a guy with a knife. They, they call, they kept calling me a Pokemon. But, but they, like, put me to fight against these guys that I really 
didn't stand much of a chance against. I was basically just like, um, it was it was the kidnapper thing class. It was the kidnapper class. They'd like tie, they'd like drag you around with a rope, and then they'd set me like free in these areas, and all I had was like a pipe. But I'd have to fight for my life. It was so funny. Just stuff like that in role play. It's just so nice, you know, and you meet people on there. This was considered the ghetto, I guess. Was it? I mean, honestly, I played this map. I always put my shit in this house. All the time. I always play as a trash man. Um, in the map I used to play in, there used to be a thing right here. Where you could put your trash into, and I would... Do you guys remember that? Where I had all the sinks? <laughs> Who's in my house? My sinks? Who touched my sinks? What the hell's going on in here, man? These... There's sinks. Don't, what? don't, you don't want to see what's in there. Good old memories, even though it was like a year ago. A year or two ago, I think it was two years ago. This I, I named this room the legal room. <laughs> but uh yeah, this is a good place to stay. Although it's very small in this. But um Yeah, this is like one of my favorite parts because the only people that lived around here were people that had money printers and <laughs> they they kinda minded their own business. A lot of people would build bases from this little area here and it, it, it just makes me happy, knowing that I was happy at one point. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh... Yeah. I, I don't know what version of this map it is. It's almost like... I don't know. Also, it's very trippy how the blocks kind of have that optical illusion with your eyes. When you get closer to them. This is also a very iconic gun store. Then this would have the money printers in the back. I also remember there being like a secret way to get in there. I could have sworn. I figured it out. And not a lot of people knew about it. Over here was always gang activity. All the time. It seems bigger than I remember. I remember there being some kind of sewer system here in one of the maps I played in. I played a different, a few different versions of this, but this seems like a, maybe its own thing or a combination, maybe, or maybe it's based off of the original. I haven't really played too much of the original. This is where spawn usually is in a lot of these maps nowadays. I remember, uh, it being like an ocean side, but I don't think that's in this map. And then there's like a kind of a, I wouldn't call it a countryside, but a side that had like grass to it that connected underground. There's this one guy in the roleplay server. Me and him always had some kind of beef. And he didn't even remember me. <laughs> we never he never remembered me each time we encountered each other. Kind of interesting here. Not really. Oh, this is bright. Ew. What the hell? But, um... Yeah, we're gonna try to find underground really quick. I think we saw it. The... Really? So... This...
Huh. So there's some way to get into there, obviously. But it's the, um, the end. Maybe we just go to the end. It's this little square box over here. The admin room? They actually do have the end. That's cool. Let me go check that this out first, though. Player height. Okay. Thought maybe it was some kind of admin room or something, but... Oh, it doesn't let you go there either. Well, if you guys want to figure out this mystery, um, I say go for it. Ender pearls lying all over it, looks like. You gotta find them. So, yeah, I recommend checking this map out for yourself. And figuring out what the hell's going on around here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this was, uh, Minecraft Downtown in Gmod. Bro, it was generating chunks. That's kind of cool, but, uh... Oh no, Maxwell, hello. Good kitty. Good kitty kitty, okay. Get the hell out of here. What's happening? Guys. Is it? Is this Maxwell's doing? Let me reload the map. Preparing chunks. Alright, well, uh, we're not gonna click on Maxwell. This time. Um, why is it blue now? What, what's happening? What's going on? Map? I don't remember what the Steam description said about this map, but it said Trade Minecraft Realms. So, I... Kind of reminds me of maybe... TF2? Maybe this is a TF2 map? Hello. Is this... Oh, okay, so you go down here. Go up to here. And then you freaking die. Uh, th these are like portals. Oh! Oh my gosh! I love this. But they're on Bedrock Edition! Dang it. Kinda wish that- Is that on Java yet? Or has it been on Java? Because every time I stream Minecraft, people are like, Ew, Bedrock. Because I play on Bedrock Edition. And the leaves kinda change color. But I love that. But it also gives me a nostalgic feeling, seeing like, these buildings like this. They're very plain. Reminds me of being a kid not understanding how to make a build. And then they got like the oak wood planks. Although, these are um... These aren't just logs, they have- they're the um... Whatever they're called. The uh... Well, they're pre they pretty much are logs. Well, this is very cozy. I love this. It's like when you turn the log into like a full log where it's just a log all the way around. I like that these are kind of just JPEGs. But you can't, you almost can't tell. I mean, obviously everything's a JPEG. My life's a JPEG. But uh, I really, really like this one because it's snow and it really matches, uh, matches the month. As a, oh, that's cool. As I'm recording this, though, um, it's still fall, but I know by the time it's uploaded, it'll be uh, winter. Wow, I just want to go hit that right now. Watch it all fall. Just one block. I only needed to break one. I don't I don't think this is like a team fortress map. 
really wish that that would break, but this is... Oh my lord. Oh, it's all water out here. Just, it's just water outside. Like the Trouble in Terrace Town map where it just... There's a minecart over there. Where it just let you, uh... Have auto walking on. <laughs> You know, me and Chris have been playing Minecraft. You guys probably don't know who Chris is. Uh, Chris is a guy that comes on the channel occasionally. Um, me and him have been playing Minecraft for a long time. And then I... I just realized that... He's always used... Like, he didn't always use it. But he's used... Auto walk for a long time. And I was like, wait, what? You have auto walk on? So he probably was wondering why I'm constantly pressing A... I think he end ended up, like, changing it, though, but I don't think he really cares. Oh my gosh, I need to get to there. That's the Aether. This isn't the Aether, this is Skybox, the Skyblock Survival. Hello. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I love this snowy area a lot. Down here. Oh, that's super cool. How do you do that even in Gary's mod? My question. I say screw the nether. Screw the nether. I say screw hoo, 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 the nether. You guys remember that song? Back in my day. I made a screeching sound, but my microphone didn't pick it up, I don't think, so. Yeah. Good old Minecraft days. I love that it's these nether block textures. The lava textures. But with, like, newer Minecraft stuff at the same time. This is old school nether. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Seems like they're all connected in one way or another. Is this uh, the stronghold? Yes, it is. I'm not going to be looking at this entire map because this is huge. And it's just so impressive. And oddly enough, this is kind of creepy. Oh my gosh. It's him. I was, it's creepy because you can see the sky bo box, but it feels so empty here, but feel like he knew that because he added hero hero brony oh! Oh. why did that scare me so much just do 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 okay sorry Hero Brony. Why does this look like such a meme? Why is he standing like that, though? Hero Brian used to scare the crap out of me as a child, yo. How do I stop driving? Help. Help. Oh, there. Okay, so he only disappears when he's there. Where's the bottom of his feet, map creator? You have a lot to answer for. That's so unrealistic. Hero Brony has feet. I want to see his feet. <laughs> he's just standing there. We're back here. This map is crazy. So much. So much. Just flying around looking at this. See, there's this is this red spot and then there's this blue spot like it's Team Fortress. I just assume it's Team Fortress because of that. Generating level. Oh, this is the beginning. The beginning. Oh, what? No way. They're all next to each other. Dude. That's crazy. Like, you will only find this if you're no-clipping. It reminds me of, uh... The, the Hunger Games back in the day when they had the wall that separated each area. That is so cool. Wait, no. What the hell am I talking about? 
Wait, were they all connected? Now I don't know. I feel like I'm crazy right now because I could have sworn that there's only one snow realm unless I really just didn't look up. Which well could have been the case. I thought it was all snow in one area, but... Oh yeah, no, I remember seeing this. Okay. My dumbass. Yeah, because we climbed the sand. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My brain goes on autopilot sometimes. But, uh, it literally took me a second to realize that they're all, like, the same. So my dumbass thought that this... There was no wall here. I mean, my dumbass thought that there's walls here, and that this was bigger, but I am wrong. Wrong. I have been bamboo- I bamboozled myself. But I love that there's clouds, I love the sun. Don't look directly at it, just kidding, look right at it. Are you guys blind? I bet it's the middle of the night for y'all, too. It just looks like it was asking for a secret. Oh, so. No, they don't have it. Uh, if you look at the snowman under his uh, pumpkin, he has a face. Very satanic and kind of the reason why I'd never let my kids play Minecraft. I don't have kids, but if I did, I wouldn't let them because of that pumpkin. Village. This is such a cool map. All connected. What not. Very nice, but we got one more map to look at. But first, let me get into this. I just think Team Fortress 2 because of the red and blue. That's literally all it is. It could it could be made for that though. Like you could put like a like a King of the Hill map with that in the middle there. Our control points, you know, different areas. But either way, good map. I love that. Okay, um, I missed. But uh, let's let's check out the next one. This is the last one. So this is the one that actually got me into the idea of making one video for different Minecraft maps. So I did actually look at this map a bit, but I didn't look at the whole thing. And then I played the uh, construct map. Also, this the chests are not connected. I think you can crouch to stop them for con from uh, connecting. Unless this is supposed to be old school, but I don't think it is because I don't think you could do this with fence back in the day. Could you? There's got to be a secret in one of these, I bet. Get get it out of here. Um. Oh, it has physics. Wait, everything has physics. No way. That's so cool. You have physics? You? But, uh, I gotta say, I saw this on the Steam Workshop. It was in the front page area. I thought it looked really cool. And then it kind of gave me this idea when I first played it. This is the only area I did see, though. And I was excited to show you guys this. Because I loved it. Could be a good Trouble in Terrorist Town map, too. All I think about is PvP when I look at maps, isn't it? There's a mob spawner there. Y'all don't really see those a lot anymore in Minecraft, it feels like. Sorry. I know I know clipped. Now if you can put it in your heart to forgive me. A furnace you could pick up? That's so cool. It's gotta be weird to see, like, Minecraft with things that doesn't belong in Minecraft, like the gravity gun. 
for some people. I love the sounds. So good. We've been here. What's up here? That's so cool. Hey. Man, I actually would unironically have a painting like this up in my room because I've always loved this specific one. I love it. It's so cool. It's really pretty. I think it's literally just a skull with roses in the background based off of the real picture. Also, what the hell is the point of these kelp blocks? Dried kelp blocks? Like, you can't eat them. What? Why? Why do they exist? But, um, I love this. This one is always cool too. I've, you know, Minecraft actually really did teach me to enjoy art. I feel like if I haven't played Minecraft, I wouldn't care quite as much about art. And now I, I love art. Look sussy. Nothing there. Sussy wussy. Griefing your world, Mr. Minecraft map creator. But, um. Love that you can hear bats. I gotta say, I, I am a sucker for people that have really nice Minecraft worlds. You know, I love when people use their mind. Like, they design things like this, and then they have, like, the oak. Like, that's, that's really creative. And I don't know if this is like a thing that he made in his Minecraft world originally, but it's really nice. I love the barrels being stacked. The barrels. Love the cobblestone in the water. Just so much detail to it. Just love it. You know, it, may, it makes it feel like somebody's played in this world for a long time and kind of knows what they're doing, you know. But uh, we've looked almost everywhere. All that, yeah. Those are the glow berries. I think there's some stuff this way, so. Oh, we've been in here, but I thought I saw a bed. Yeah, here it is. There could still be secrets in this map. That is kind of satisfying. Wait. Oh, okay. But, uh, I gotta say, maps are really great. I love the design of them. I love the whole look of them. This is definitely my favorite out of all of them. The Trouble in Terrace Town map is just so nostalgic. I love them. Um... I'll try to put the maps in the description down below. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been so long since I've done a Gary's Mod video. Video. But I never know how to end it. Um, I've just been playing God of War, so I'm sorry for people that's been wanting content like this. Uh, we're gonna be playing some more Gary Mod soon, so don't you worry. But, uh, anyways... I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Be safe. Bye.